Hallelujah. 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 This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Come on, family. We know that one. Everybody, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. In it. We're going to sing our uh, to take us a little higher. This is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. Amen. This is
victory. He gave us what? Authority. Amen. 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 Can you testify how he's given you authority? You can do it. To conquer the enemy. Amen. 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 We have to speak on one of those words. Amen. 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 Our next song says how much we love God. Amen. It says, I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We say worship and prayer. It's just a, the way we talk to God. Yes. And while we say how much we love him, amen? Amen. So we're going to take this time to praise God, amen? And worship God. Hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. But uh, we do want to just submit this to you that I invite you, praise God, to work with us in the kingdom. Amen. 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 I, I, you know, the Lord has helped, has helped me to, to, you know, we, we don't we don't beg. We ask. That's right. The Bible says ask, right? Amen. And the Bible declares, amen, we are to ask and declare the word of God. Uh, we've been doing sample giving, amen, for the last year. I hope some of you are grabbing hold of this, trying to be systematically in your giving, because I believe that God's going to lead to systematic blessings. Amen? amen? Praise God. Not that we're looking for God to bless us, but we know that when we sow a seed, God's going to do the rest. Amen? amen. That's, that's according to his word. Amen. And we thank God that we're not going to rob God, but he tells us to do what? Bring all the tithes and offerings into the storehouse. Amen. That there may be meat in our house. Praise the Lord. And when we do this all together, praise God, he said he will rebuke the devourer for our sake. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. And we and he says that we will be able to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. So I invite you today, amen, to, to share in kingdom work. Amen? amen. And that is what giving does. When you contribute uh, your tithe and you give your offerings. It builds the kingdom of God and what God is doing here. He said, Pastor, what are you guys doing here in, in, in Fredericksburg, in, in Woodford? What we're doing here in Woodford, amen, is that we have a food pantry, amen. amen. Praise God, we have back to school giving, amen, in the fall, amen, mm -hmm. amen, and praise God. And we are dealing with an area now, amen, where there is what we call food insecurity. I know all y'all mad about $6 eggs. My yes. man. Everybody mad about that. I never see anybody get mad, but somebody get mad about some eggs. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But in food insecurity is when, when you, it's there to help bridge the gap when you don't have enough. It's not there when you don't have it at all. Amen? But, you know, our food pantry allows that for us to fill in that gap. So, you know, we're here and we're servicing it. And I want to make sure everybody knows that because sometimes we, we talk about it on uh, we do it every, what, third, 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 third yeah. Thursday, third, third yeah. Saturday. Thank you. Uh, but don't you know, you tap me on your, on my shoulder and say, Pastor, we need, guess what? And we have it, guess what? We're going to give it. Amen. Can we say amen? Amen. So, so, so I want to make sure we understand if, if, if you don't have food in your house, I just feel necessary to say this. That's right. You have food in the house. I mean, we got freezers full of food. Yeah. Amen. amen. That's right. We got freezers full of food. We got some turkey, we got some chicken, and we got some ham, we got some ground beef. Praise God. I saw all the boxes of Cheerio. What are all the boxes of Captain Crunch? <laughs> Maybe you like cereal, but what I'm trying to understand is that let's step out of our pride and access the things God's given us. And, it, and you know what? It is an honor and a privilege for us to serve you. Amen. 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 So I just want to make sure I'm trying to I'm trying to be more vocal about that because somebody you everybody needs something sometime. That's right. And I believe that the church has to feel that need. Amen. Especially through, and, and guess what? You're giving, promoting, give. You got ties and offers help support that ministry. Amen. 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 So 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 just just be encouraged today. Praise the Lord, because because all of us sometimes need help at some point in our life. That's right. Amen. And we just thank God. For it. We ain't gonna ask you, we ain't gonna ask you to show us your Walmart receipts, what you bought all month. We just wanna say if you need, we just wanna give. There you go. Amen. That's right. Amen. I ain't asking for your W2. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. There's there's people today that's making two hundred thousand dollars a year and still need food. That's right. Amen. It's hard to do that, isn't it? But it's the truth. Amen. But guess what? God has blessed us and we want to share the blessings of God. Amen. That God has done for Praise Temple Amen. through the beautiful and wonderful family of what we call our congregation. Amen. 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 You can give yourself a hand. You can give yourself a hand. So let's go back to our faith statement. So let's go ahead and say that, Dean Murray. Praise God. Lord, Lord this, is this is your tithe. This is my offering. This is my offering. It's not a debt I owe, a but a seed I sow. I give it cheerfully. Bless me abundantly. Bless praise temple tremendously. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Look at somebody say, get planted. Grow and prosper. Come on, clap your hands. You've got one more prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for his grace. Amen. So glad to have Sierra Hall, Hall, uh, Haskins with us and Kimberly uh, Alonzo. Amen. So glad to see you today. Amen. So God pray for them. We got to say that right. Amen. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. Welcome you. Make sure it says that.
that in the service. Praise God. Welcome them in the house of God. Amen. 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 Let them know that we're glad to have them today. So we praise God for you being here in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to get into the word of God this morning. Amen. Because some of y'all got the Super Bowl on your mind. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> praise him. But guess what? We serve a God that's greater than that. Amen. 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 And on today, I'm going I'm to talk about uh, uh, something. Praise the Lord. And I want everybody to say, this ain't happening to me. This ain't happening to me. That's the name of my, 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 my topic. I don't have it up on the screen, but this ain't happening to me. I want you to look at somebody and say, I'm going to do my very best. My very best. Look at somebody and, and make sure it don't happen to you. Run that. I would have gladly forgiven you of your sins. I died to give you that chance. If you had come to me with a broken and contrite heart, I would have erased these deeds from all memory. Lord, but you never knew me. And these deeds are merely evidence of what was in your heart all along. I'm so sorry. I gave you many chances to repent in life. But out of your pride, you refused. You prayed a prayer decades ago. But it meant little. What? You never followed me. You never knew me. But Lord, I did many good things in your church. Why do you call me Lord? And yet you failed to do what I told you. How you have never been my Lord. Now you must go away from your Deeds are evil. Find him and no food. No. Take him away. Cast him into outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. No! 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 Please! No! A man who spent. Somebody say amen. amen. Look at somebody say that ain't happening to me. Amen. Come on, clap your hands, give God some praise. All right. And that ain't happening to me. I'm gonna do everybody, every, everything I can to make sure it don't happen to you today. Amen. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 13 and verse number 8, it says, And all that dwell upon the earth worship him whose names are not written in the Lamb's. Uh, in the Lamb's book of uh, uh, written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. I'm here to let us know today, church, that I'm gonna do I'm doing everything I can to make sure this does not happen to you. Okay. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God. The God, Amen, loves us so much. Yes. God, Amen, cares about us so much. God, praise the Lord, Amen, had us on his mind so much. Praise God that He left His throne in glory. Amen. Praise God. Found him a virgin called Mary. Amen. Embodied her, praise God, in the person of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Dwelt among us. We, be, we beheld him as the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and full of truth. Praise God. He walked this earth for 33 and some years. Praise God. Amen. And after 33 years, he said, my time is now. Amen. I, got to, I must need go to Jerusalem and die for the sins of the world. Amen. After, amen. They, they, they whipped him. Praise God. They beat him. Amen. Hallelujah. He was bruised. Amen. For our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace. Amen. Was upon him. But because he allowed that, the first thing we got was deliverance from sickness and disease. Because he said, by his stripes, I'm already healed. Don't you know your healing came before the cross? Oh, come on, somebody. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Then he goes to the cross. He let men nail him to a cross. Uh, hallelujah. He put, amen, one in his hand and one in the other hand. Come on, somebody. It should have been us up on the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. They put one in his foot and pierced him in the side. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And he gave up the ghost. Uh, he said, it is finished. Praise God. Hot top on shot. Hallelujah. Praise God. He goes into the lower parts. 
of hell. Amen. The devil thought that he had Jesus Christ. I said the devil thought he had him. And guess what? That the devil thought he had you also. I'm talking about shot. Ain't no more shit. But after three days, ain't no more shit. He took the keys to hell, death, and the grave. Ain't no more shit. And he got back into that body. And then he walked through the grave. I said he walked through the grave. The door was not open to let him out. The door is open that we might see of what God did for us as people of the of belief, of people of faith. Huh? I will say, huh? come on somebody, the Lord, hallelujah, amen, tells them, praise the Lord, uh, uh, after I rose, go to Jerusalem uh, and wait till you be endued uh, with power from on high. <laughs> about the day of Pentecost huh, that fell, hallelujah, huh, they're in one place, huh, on one accord, huh, and the Bible says huh, they were all filled huh, with the Holy Ghost, huh, and that went, huh, hallelujah, huh, tongues of fire, huh, speaking in other tongues, huh, as the Spirit of God huh, gave others, huh, that Holy Ghost huh, seals us huh, until the day of redemption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. At the last drop, the dead in Christ, that I will see, shall rise first, but we which are alive remain shall be caught up to be with him. Anybody looking for that great day? Hallelujah. I'm doing everything I can to make sure that don't happen to you. I'm doing everything I can to make sure that don't happen to you. That's not for us. How about she? But guess what? That's what's going to happen to us. If we don't make our call and election for sure. Amen. If we don't do what God has said. Well, there's one part of the video. He said, why do you call me Lord and you still don't do what I say to you? Oh, Jesus. Huh. Lord, I, I, I worked at the food pantry. Lord, I stood on the door. Lord, praise God, I did everything. I, I, I cut the grass at the church. Lord, I mopped the floor and I cleaned the toilets. And God says, I never knew you. The Bible says, seek ye first. Jesus says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these other things shall be added to what is the kingdom of God. John, Jesus Tells Nicodemus, except a man is, is born uh, of the water hey, come on. and of the spirit. Yes, he cannot see or enter into the kingdom of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Don't you let this happen to you. Amen. Don't you let this happen to you. We, we got water right here. That's right. Amen. I said we got water right here. We got water right here. Amen. I beg. I said, I said, Lord, I'm gonna beg you today, Lord. If you have not been baptized in Jesus' name, you are still in your sin. Come on. According Amen. to the scripture. Amen. But guess what? There's a remedy to your situation. You say, Pastor, why it's cold? Guess what? I'd rather be cold for about 20 minutes than burn forever. Amen. And have my stuff what? Washed away. And the Bible says that it's a promise I'm going to receive this precious gift called the Holy Ghost. Amen. The same spirit of race Christ Jesus from the dead shall also quicken our mortal bodies. How do I get my name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? I got to be in the Lamb. I got to have the Lamb's name on me. I got to have the blood of Christ on me. I got to have the Spirit of God down on the inside according to the Scriptures. If we don't have it this way, church, amen, guess what? This is something to happen to us. Amen. That final judgment is coming for every man. Amen. Praise the Lord. And my name is not written in God and Jesus. Jesus is the lamb that was slain. And if he has not put my name in the book. 
Praise God, no matter how many works I've done, no matter how much money I give to the church, no, I said, no matter how many gifts God gives me, it ain't going to mean nothing. Because when he threw that man in the pit, there was nothing he could do about it. This is the day. This is the hour that I got to make my decision on what I'm going to do. I was trying to comprehend what they say that 33,000 people have, have been accounted for as dead since last week with that, with that earthquake. I'm trying to wrap my mind around how many people are 33,000 people. I want to tell you how many people are 33,000 people. If you take half the stadium this afternoon and fill it halfway around, that's 33,000 people. If you go to the a uh, 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 mixed game, or you go to the Washington Wizards game, it's more than, and you fill the whole stadium in the Capital One Center, thirty-three thousand people is two of them. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yep. And guess what? Last Saturday they didn't plan to waking up dead. Hallelujah. None of them. I don't know if they knew God. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is you hear me talking. And I'm showing you the word. And guess what? You better take heed to what God's word says. Even if you don't believe me, open up your book and read the rest of the book and see what God is saying. God is not playing. God is not playing, church. And I, and, I, and I beg you I, I'm saying Lord I got it in my spirit I don't want to see you Die in your sins Hallelujah The message of the day is This ain't going to happen To me That's right Now the next question is Are you ready Are you really ready Nobody's going to be able to hide when God shows up. The Bible says, I'm done. The Bible says that if we don't praise him fervently, the rocks gonna cry out. The Bible says the it said rocks fall on us. The highest on that great and terrible day of the Lord. And guess what, church? There ain't gonna be no hiding. Everybody's name is gonna be called. That's right. Everybody's name is going to be called from the youngest to the oldest, from the pulpit to the door. And you got to make sure if there's any blemishes in your garment, ask God to wash them in his blood. I'm talking to the church right now. That's right. Because the Bible, that, 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 that lesson right there said, that person was in the church all their life. And I hate to say it, it's cliche, but it's true. You need to stop playing in church. Right. Playing church, what's playing church, Pastor? Playing church is when, praise God, you come every Sunday and hear I talk about baptism in Jesus' name, and you haven't done it. That's right. You hear me talk about every every week, you hear me talk about being filled with the Holy Ghost, amen, and that was speaking in other tongues. You ain't never spoken a tongue nowhere. That's scripture. Come on. It's a scripture. Come on, Pastor. It's the same scripture that you say, praise God, greater is he that's in me. That's right. That he is in the world. It's the same scripture, praise God, that you say, oh, uh, 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 I, the blessings of the Lord are what? Upon me. On. Amen. Oh, I got one for you. I know the thoughts that you think towards me, thoughts of good and not of evil, to bring you to it. But y'all love that one, don't you? Yeah, but nobody on love, praise God, baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost. Come on, yeah. It's the same Bible. Right. It's the same Bible that says, I will bless the Lord at, 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 at all times. And his praises shall continue to be upon my love. Surely goodness and mercy shall what? Follow me. All oh, it's the same Bible, right? Glory to you. Amen. And God is trying to get us to understand. You have to stop picking and choosing what scriptures you're going to listen to. Cherry picking is not an option. God told Jeremiah, eat all of them. Now y'all both shot. He said, eat all of them. You cherry picking, you picking out what works for you, throwing away what, what throwing, throwing away what don't work for you. And guess what? God's gonna pick up that same book, and everything you cherry pick, he will call your name out and say, guess what? It's still in there. The woman said that the that makes the way you it's in there. It's still in there. I don't care how you feel, I don't care what you think, you gotta stop thinking and start trusting in God. He 
tell us to lean not to our own understanding. You're trying to process, I got this, Lord. Your brain covers a space of about eight by eight by eight inches. And then you only use about 5% of it. And then if you compare your knowledge to the God of knowledge that fills all space and time. And, and what you tell God is, Lord, my little eight by eight by eight is more important and more and knows more than you do. I, I said it Sunday this morning. The devil knows more than some of us. The devil knows the word more than we do. And we walking through this life like everything's okay. God is here today to make sure that don't happen to you. Come on, man. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. I ain't trying to let that happen to me. Thank you. And I'm here. To speak to pride. Amen. I'm here to talk to your pride and your yeah. proud self. Yes. 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 I'm alright. <laughs> I don't care what that preacher say. That's alright. Come on, Pastor. Yeah. I'm gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. No, you're not. Because the Bible says pride comes before destruction. It is. And a hearty look before a fall. We have to humbly submit ourselves to the word of God. Amen. And guess what, church? The church, the doors of the church are still open. Amen. And if we ain't got it right, let's get it right. That's right. Might not be what y'all expect to hear this morning, but this is what I got for you. Hallelujah. God, Hallelujah. he's on his way back. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. He's on his way back. How do I know that? Oh, I got Bible for it. Y'all ready for it? Hallelujah. Earthquakes in many places. Yes, the earth is quaking and waking. There's so many earthquakes that they don't report all of them. That's right. That's right. I was sitting in my home. There was one right here this week. I was sitting at home at the table, and I was on a conference call, and the whole house would start doing like this. For about 15, about 10 seconds. I was like, I felt my whole, now y'all know where I stay, right here in Fredericksburg, right? And the whole house just started shaking. I'm like, I looked on the news, nobody didn't say nothing. Hallelujah. But that felt like an earthquake to me. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know nothing else that can shake my whole house Hallelujah. but an earthquake. Amen. 60, 70 degree days in February. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This don't make no sense. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord just had to speak in my spirit. Stop fussing, Brown. Hallelujah. <laughs> he said, this is the day that I made. Yes, yes. Because he's trying to call his people what? Hallelujah. Oh. Political unrest. Watch this. Y'all ready for another one? Wars and rumors of war. Yes, it's all these things going on in our world. Yes, and you're still tiptoeing around here like everything's okay. Praise the Lord. You ain't forgiving somebody. You ain't told somebody you're sorry. Yes, Jesus. Thank you. you live your life any old kind of way. Contrary to the word of God, the brother just stood up here. They may have said, this is the law of God. Did he not stand up here? Amen. I was listening. Amen. Some of us can't even do the Ten Commandments. Amen. And we think we're on our way. And I'm so glad on my way to heaven. And I'm so glad. No, you're not. Hallelujah. According to the scripture. Yes, right. Not to me. That's right. Yes. I'm just seeing what God's already said. Yes. Amen. And I submit to you today, I'm done. I said, I'm done. <laughs> we don't have to go out like this. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have a Savior. Yes, Jesus. The word of God said, boy. This day in the city of David is a savior than Christ Amen. our Lord. Amen. If you have not received Christ, first of all, you got to receive him. Then guess what? He said, whoso shall call upon what? The name of the Lord shall be what? Shall be saved. How can they hear? I think it's up there without a preacher. Isn't that, isn't that slide up there? Digging that up still on there? How can they hear without a preacher? How can he preach except he be sent? Is that what it says? Too many people have went and haven't been sent. So they're not preaching the sent message. They're preaching the went message. The sent message is, the sent message is, is that, praise God, the gospel's been preached. And good tidings and the good news that you can be saved yes. from your sins. But those that went, what's, what's, what, what's the one before that? I think there's another one up there. Go, 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 go. Uh, 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 keep going, keep going. We're going to keep going. 
Amen. Keep going. Praise the Lord. Amen. Go back. Go down. I want to show you something in the Word of God. Because some of y'all, y'all have to believe me. Believe what God said. Go keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Praise God. Amen. But they have not obeyed the gospel. Y'all see that? Thank you, Amen. Paul said, everybody has not obeyed it. Who shall we believe? I'll report. Hallelujah. Keep going. Keep going. I want to say, uh, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Praise the Lord. But some indeed preach Christ of envy and strife. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Those are ones that Thank went. went. Thank you. They preach, amen, to raise a, a big offering. Come on now. Yeah, I said it. Hallelujah. They preach that make you feel good. Jesus. They preach to, to, to tantalize your emotions. Yes, Jesus. But guess what? Your emotions are earthly. Hallelujah. Sensual. Then he even said they're devilish. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him. Some preach of contention. Not sincerely. Yes, Y'all see that? Hallelujah. He said, Pastor Priest, I'm preaching they, they, they don't know me what they say. Yeah. They get right out the pulpit and go about and do whatever ungodly thing they can handle. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Sooner or later, God has a tendency to do what? Pull the sheets off. Yeah. And then you're like, man, were they doing all that? Yes. yes because they were not sincere. Hallelujah. Preach, Pastor. In, in their message. Thank you, Jesus. Look what he says. Look, but, but look, for I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer and to supply the spirit of Jesus Christ. God is here to, power, to pass out his spirit. But there are people out here preaching and teaching, and they don't even believe what they're saying. Come on, <laughs> and you find yourself in this little place down here in the woods. Hallelujah. This man has gone off on us. Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Say this man, I thought he was going to talk about love and faith today. Jesus. I love you so much. I love you so much that I don't want to see that video happen to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'd rather you Hallelujah. come back or not. Yes, Jesus. I want you to settle in your spirit. Yes, Jesus. That you're going to do everything it takes Hallelujah. to make sure that don't happen to you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. The church is a soul-saving station yes, on the tracks of life. Yes, that's right. Praise Him. And guess what? As with any train on the track, you got to get off Hallelujah. at the station. Come on now. Yes. That's right. Really? Because sooner or later, the train is going to get to the end Hallelujah. of the line. Of the line. Yes. Amen. I just ask, if you have not been, if you still got your sins on you, we got one. Get that stuff off of you. He made a way. I know that the Lord will make a way. I'm doing everything I can to make sure that won't happen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I love, I love the saints. I love the church. I love the fellowship. We're gonna have this afternoon. I love that. I love all that. I love, I love eating, amen, fried chicken and greens. I love, amen, eating chocolate cake after church. I, I love, I love all the, ex, all, uh, all the extra things of the church. But at the end of the day, I gotta love my brother. That's right. That's right. And I gotta love God. And because I love my brother, yes. and because I love God, Hallelujah. I'm going to do the things that God says. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So I ask anybody who has the courage today, if you have the courage, I pray. I've been praying all week, Lord, give them courage to Thank you, step out and be a bold person in Christ. That if you have not been baptized in his name, I said baptized in his name. I said baptized in his name. Come on now. Jesus, it says right there in Acts chapter 2. It says what? Every one of you need to be baptized what? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? There's a reason to call his name. Because Jesus died for your sins. The Father, Son, Holy Ghost didn't die for your sins. Jesus died for your sins. That's why you got to go down in his name. Praise him. For the remission of what? Sin. And you going to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Oh, man, man. Is there one today? Praise God. Is there one today that want this? Got to get this. Got to say, I got to get my record clean today because 
God, I got a record. Is there one today that need to be baptized in Jesus' name? You want to get baptized today? Get re baptized. That's all right. Make sure you got it right. Come on, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what? He goes like this. Yeah. Yeah. Back in the hill. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. It's another today. This is so big. Come on, we're going to take it down to Jesus. Amen. And we're going to believe God. Because the Bible says that it doesn't profit a man until it's mixed with faith. But guess what? We need to make sure, we need to make sure that we know, that we know, that we're all right with God. Is there another today that needs the Holy Ghost? How do I receive the Holy Ghost? Who shall I call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved? All you got to do is call on the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. He tells us, just open our mouth and call on his name. There's neither salvation in the other. Know the name given under heaven whereby they must be saved. Is there one today that needs the Holy Ghost? Come on. Hallelujah. I don't know what this week is going to hold. I don't know what this week is going to be. But guess what? I want to be ready for this week. Amen? Amen. Amen. Is there one today? Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody clap your hands here. God, praise you. Amen. Somebody respond to the word of God. Is there another today? Is there another today? Make sure this don't happen to you. Lord, I need to get all, I need it. I need it. You know, we need to learn how to repent before God. Say, Lord, I'm sorry for what I did. Hallelujah. We're here to help God do what he does. We're co-laborers with Christ in the vineyard of God. Hallelujah. The Lord wants us to come today. Is there another today? Hallelujah. Is there another today? And what must I do to be saved? Lord, I need the old I need thee every hour. Praise God. Is there another one today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I don't want this happening to you. Amen. Praise God. Is there another today? Maybe somebody just desired prayer and said, Lord, Pastor, you know what? I know the Lord is dealing with me. I just need some help. Is there one today? I, this, this part of the altar call is for those that just want us to touch the grief. Say, Lord, I just need some help. I need some help. Anybody need help today? Come on. Let the ministers just touch me real with you this morning. Hallelujah. Is there one today? Is there one today? Lord, I just need some help. Lord, I just need you to help me. Church, there is no other help that we know besides the name of the Lord. Is there somebody else? Amen. Somebody put your hands together. Give God praise. For so responding to the call of God. Praise the Lord. Is there another today? Lord, I just need some help. This is the place where you get help at. You get help in the name of the Lord. You get help, praise God, in the power of Christ. You get help, amen, striving in the things of God. Is there another one today? Lord, I just need some help. No man is an island. No woman is an island unto himself. We all need help. We all need God to help us. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Is there are another one today. Lord, I just need some help today. Oh, God, I bless you. I praise the name of the Lord. Help us today, Lord, to do your word. Help us, Lord, to respond to your word. Help us, Lord, oh God, Father, to uh, get ourselves in a place where we can see your face in peace. Make sure our names are written in the Lamb's book of life. Hallelujah. Is there another today? Is there another today? The 
power of Christ restrains us to ask us. Once the church, once the church is taken out of here, this time of grace is over. The door shuts for us. Praise him. The door shuts for us. So get in while the door is open. Get in while the Spirit of God is moving. Get in while the Lord is, is operating on us. God, I thank you. Is there another today? Come on, come on, come on. Jesus loves you. We learn that Jesus, Jesus loves me. This I know, because the Bible tells me so. Praise the Lord. Is there another today? Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Is there another today? God, I thank you. Bible study lesson right now, but there is a difference. Understand that the Son, the Father, the Holy Ghost 
our titles. The name of Jesus is what's going to save you. Remember, Scripture tells you that you can't even get to the Father unless you go through Jesus. Amen. 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 We're going to go through the announcements very quickly. Hallelujah. So last week, uh, your team should have been submitted to, to Brother Max. Just keep in mind that uh, it's five dollars per person as we continue to read through the Bible. We will have that photo that we took for the team dinner that will be submitted today. We blew it up nice and big so that everybody can see it. Uh, next up, food pantry, uh, Saturday the 18th. Please come out, help us, give us a hand. Uh, you'd be surprised at what happens at the food pantry. Not only is it just good fellowship with each other, but you get an opportunity to meet the people in the community and say a word to them as well. Amen? Amen. And we've gotten to know a lot of people in the community. Uh, next week, Sunday, Deacon Murray's going to be preaching the word. Amen. All right. Amen. So, all right. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to look at myself up there and talk about it, right? So, that, that guy is going to be preaching the word. Amen. Uh, leader. Amen. Glory to God. Also, just uh, so that you know, uh, we do belong to the PCAFI, Pentecostal Churches of the Apostolic Faith International. Uh, we have the Bishop's Board meeting, which will be from March 1st through the 4th. And it is in person and online, so you can see me or Lady Brown, and we'll get you all the information you need to praise the Lord, everybody. Take a listen to the entire month of March. Praise Temple of Virginia wants to invite you all to come out and celebrate Pastor Terrence S. Brown's 14th pastoral anniversary. Starting on Sunday, March 5th, Elder Robert Perry will be our guest speaker. Oh, the best thing. Ah, the best thing. I see more than what they see. I will do something that will bless the folks that understand how great I am. Next, on Sunday, March 12th, we have Elder David Hollis. He will be our guest. In the name of the Lord, with clean lips, it feels good to testify. I've got victory over the enemy, and the world can't do me no harm. It feels good. Glory. Come on, I know y'all want to shout. Then the following Sunday, March 19th, Pastor Ryan Miller will be our guest speaker. Do you want it bad enough that you want to say, listen, I'm tired of being here. I'm tired of being her. I'm tired of being him. I'm tired of feeling with them. But Lord, I know you're able to take everything away. Everything away. Upside down. I know you're able to make it right. All right, now we shift gears just a little bit. Friday, March 24th, yes, Friday night service. Our guest speaker will be none other than Bishop Howard Rayford. Forgive me for the things that I said that I should not have said, and I know I said some things. Forgive me for the things I've done and I, that I shouldn't have done, and I know I have done some things. Forgive me for the thoughts I thought that I shouldn't have thought, and I know I've thought some things. Forgive me for the things I touched that I shouldn't have touched, and I know I've touched some things. Somebody say, Lord, I repent. To keep the weekend going, on Saturday, March 25th, as Bishop Rayford will share the recording artist side of him and bless us in concert. And if some of you don't know who Bishop Rayford is, he is a recording artist. He's had about six or seven albums out. It's all uh, his saxophone and obviously it's all Christian music, obviously, right? So, so the month of March, we're going to be doing some stuff with Pastor. So I just want you all to know, the month of March, Pastor is doing no work, y'all. No, no preaching, no teaching. Also, the month of March, uh, uh, we got that coming up. I didn't put it up there t today. But before we talk about this, also the month of March, the ministerial staff will be teaching Bible study the entire month. All right? So... All of us will have a different topic, a different theme to, to, to preach on or to teach on, I should say. But Pastor Brown is doing no work in the month of March. All right. It's his 14th pastoral anniversary. And we want to make sure that he has a break. Amen. And I'm thankful to be part of a church where we can give our pastor a break. Amen. Amen. All right. TM Camp. Uh, I don't know if any of you have heard about this. Maybe some of you have. But full prices and details, you'll probably have to get with Lady Brown. Can't read all of it right now, but TM Camp is a camp that's been around since since we were all children, believe me. And Pastor Brown is typically there, Lady Brown. We had one year, we sent the children up. 
And I think all but one came back filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, and they just have a great time in the Lord. They have a great time. It's it's uh, uh, not just church, but it's also seminars and different things for the children. Amen. But it's also good for the adults to attend as well. Just remember that Bible class will be on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. And then Sunday school, 9 a.m. prompt. And just remember that all those classes, anything that we do in the church, uh, the three services, service, Sunday school, and Bible class will all be uh, online as well, as far as on Facebook Live, and then eventually we'll be put on to YouTube as well. Amen? Amen. I'm going to ask you to all stand on your feet. Hallelujah. Come on, you can come on, do it. A couple different things. One, we love you, and, you, and be encouraged, and invoke God's presence all this week. One more time, sir. And the other thing is that next week is another good week to invite somebody to come out to church. So for Sister Kimberly and Sister Sierra, God bless you. We thank you for coming out. I don't know who invited you. I, I don't have any. What, what, what? So I'm Sierra. Uh, Sister Kimberly and Sister Law invited me. My hey, mm, mm, mm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's her name? His name is Brayden. His name? Brayden. Brayden. All right. Brayden. Kimberly and Sierra. Got the names right? Amen. God bless you. Come on. Come on, evangelist. Come on. Come on. And, while, and, while, and while, while we're standing, if you do have a physical offering, you can just come from where you are. If you need an envelope, the usher back there will get it to you. Amen. We are getting ready for this baptism. Amen. Amen. This is a good thing. Amen. Hold on. All I wanted to say is give honor to uh, Sister Sierra for coming out um, she's like a daughter to me. She wants my grandchildren to grow up. Amen. That's how long we've been friends a while. And she just wanted to come today on behalf as well as Miko uh birthday. Amen. 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 Okay. And I hope you come back. Amen. Amen. And her little baby, I used to babysit him. Amen. She is so dear to me. That's a second daughter. It's another one. Her name Tiffany. And one day she's going to come. I just want to honor her for honesty. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We're going to baptize first. Hang on, y'all, because he's ready. Take me to the water. I'll be right back. Lord Jesus Christ and the confidence of the blessed word of God, I now baptize you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin. And you already got the Holy Ghost. And we're gonna believe God to stir up the gift down on the inside of fresh in Jesus' name. On your breath, son. Come on, praise him, y'all. Hallelujah. Come on, praise him, praise him. Stand. Listen, listen, that young man is 23 years old. You've been baptized in the past and you've been filled with the Holy Ghost, amen. But this world is something else, amen. So it takes a lot for them to want to come back and do it again and get it right, amen. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory. Glory, glory, glory. It's a beautiful thing to see someone baptized in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. All the parents out here, we want all our children baptized. Amen. We want all our grandchildren baptized. Amen. In Jesus' name. We want them to come up speaking in tongues. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm just feeling good. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all come back next week and hear some more of the word. Amen. Hear what thus saith the Lord through me. Amen. Hallelujah. Is everyone, are we satisfied with our giving? Deacon Gould, bless the offering, please. Our most gracious Father, we want to thank you, Father God, for everything you've done. We want to bless the one 36 and 100 fold that was able to give. We also want to bless the ones that wanted to give that could not give, so that they may be able to give next time. May these often be used for the uplift of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So while you're still remaining standing, amen, just remember we are doing a little uh, Super Bowl fellowship. Amen. amen. At about 5 p.m., we're going to congregate or re-congregate back here in the fellowship hall. 
So uh, if you are bringing something, just touch base with Sister Miko and Evangelist Law, just to make sure we're not bringing double of things. And we're just going to have a good time, amen? And watch the Eagles win, all right? Amen. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Y'all see I'm on my green, right? My tie. You know? It's all right. We have a good time in church, amen? amen. Hallelujah. Lady Brown, will you close this out since this is you Sunday? Examine ourselves, Lord, that we will walk up right before you and do what your word has said by obeying it. Oh God, Lord, we just bless each and every one. Lord, bless them as they go. Lord, until we meet again, depart us from this place, but not your presence. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.